cent to 150 cents to 1 million 576 cents quick how much is that in actual dollars four four dollars my, my my one request is if you do donate one cent please don't make us pay the fees <laughs> uh, that that is one, my one request ladies and gentlemen game was paused by legend yep why legend is the admin of well not the admin of the, uh, the french team he is the one who started yep so if who's a streamer we have to remake uh, spanish stream dropped i gotta say though it's uh it's much more convenient having them make it than you, Laura, because it gives us much more time to uh to figure out stupid things to say like what kind of batteries did the Colossi take? Oh Lord. Ah, you remember. Um, we need some some new jokes here. I, you know what? I've been giving you the Frost Alter Zim one for forever and a day. You still haven't gotten back I've, to me on that. I've been thinking about it. If anyone wants to come up with the punchline for us in chat, that would be awesome. Yeah, the joke so, is... You, all right, give the, give the setup, it's an and then how do you figure out the punchline? So, what did Frost say to Alter Zim? Somebody, somebody in chat has got to be clever enough to make that. Somebody. I'm optimistic. I, I, I really am. <laughs> uh, I, uh, hmm. Let me think here. Ooh, I got one. Um, hang on. No, wait, wait, wait. I had it and I lost it. Okay, I got it. Why aren't Protoss allowed in school? No, no, no. Damn it! <laughs> Ah, oh, but I, 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 oh. I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. What? I, nothing. I, I, I have the punchline. I'm just trying to come up to the. I'm just trying to think of the the punch. I'm. I got the punchline. I'm trying to think of the setup. Okay, I got one. I got one. A Templar comes back to base with a terrified look on his face. The Zealots ask what happened. You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not bad. You know, you know, I've always wondered what kind of unit would make the best game developer. And you know what? I finally, I have my answer. What unit would make the best game developer? I don't know. Is an Agi what unit? A High Templar. Lighten me. They always give good feedback. Wah, wah. Hey, I can't be the only. You're the one who came up with Colossi. You did the Colossi. Tell the people at home your your Colossi joke in in it all its brilliance. <laughs> Hold on, I'm doing admin thing. Yeah, we have admins.
Oh, I got one, I got one. What do you call a, a zealot on drugs? Uh, charge lot. No. A high Templar. <laughs> Alas. Always fall. Good jokes falling on deaf ears. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Game uh, number two. Much ado about nothing. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do third place and the finals. Finals are a best of seven, right? <laughs> yes, third place is only best of three. Oh my god. Star is stationed in the map here. Yeah. Oh, this reminds me to another of another good one. How does oh, MC Lord. get to tournaments? Um I got nothing. Iron Force One. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, it's just so bad. It's just so bad. Ladies oh, and Lord. Do we have any viewers left? No, we don't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Star Station. Down here in the bottom right from Infinity Gaming, the Red Terran. She is my darling. And up in the top left, the Green Terran from Parts Unknown. She is Zombie Grub. Is Zombie Grub actually with the team? I, I, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. Um, I don't think she is currently. Was on a team, or oh, what was it? I don't remember. Somebody is frozen. I had that problem. I had that problem before. We did nothing. We do nothing. I, I kid, I kid, we want to try and accommodate as best we can, but we have to get these games played at some point, eventually. And here we go, the one racks on both sides. Both players going to send an SCV across the map. And it looks like that Zombie Grub is going to be taking the aggressive move with the refinery. Uh, well, actually, the earlier refinery, my darling, going for uh, going for the refinery behind this. And I'm. Curious as to what, what is my darling going for? She put the delayed gas. I think she's gonna go for uh, some delayed drop play. I'm not certain, but I have to I have to see how this pans out. Uh, that one SCV working away at that supply depot, so very lonely. Uh, the poor man's job. Marine trying to kill off that SCV. Run! Run. And the SCV gets, gets away. Done your duty. Tried to unbuild that supply depot. Overtime! Totally not worth it. <laughs> Some overtime. Now, reactor is going down for my darling Hera, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Same thing looks like for Zombie Grub. I think we're gonna see Banshees again. Yeah, second gas going down. I my guess is Banshees again for Zombie Grub. Zombie Grub's gonna go for Banshee. I think my darling's gonna go for some Hellion. Uh, some Hellion drops. Either either mass Hellion... How do you see Hellion front? drop out of this? I see a command center. <laughs> well, yeah, command center first, then into some Hellion drops. Um, or actually, no, this is uh, this is going to be 
four Hellions at the front door and a Marine drop in the back. This is very oh, standard. You have some some completely different insight into this game than I have. Yeah, no, this is this is one of my favorite builds in TVT. You drop in the back with Marines and then you shove the front with Hellbats. I mean Hellions. Um, uh, GX Shock. Wah -wah. And the first casualty falls. <laughs> Gotta enjoy it. Alright, we'll wait for this to tick down for a little bit. Yep. Uh, this was the player that froze, I think. Probably. I had a similar freeze, but it kept going that the the thing just froze up. Control Alt Delete fixed it for some reason. Battle.net is uh, a little bit glitchy, but Battle.net is taking taking bandwidth from hardworking tournaments and giving it to the ones that can pay them the most. Alright. But uh meanwhile, Zombie Grub's gonna go for the Banshee here. Um, yep, does scan and see everything, really. Yeah, the thing... Well, not quite everything, but Zombie Grub's good enough. She should be able to pick up on this. Uh, she should know exactly what's going on. Uh, that one factory is actually making a tech lab, so... Huh! Interesting. No, yeah, well, no, okay. I, I guess I was completely wrong. Uh, this is actually going to go into some Banshees of my darling's own, a Widow Mine, and a couple of Marines. Interesting. I like it. Cloak and Banshee on the way for Zombie Grub by a wide margin. Yeah, I think this is a safer way to get to the Banshees. It's not going as fast as she can to Banshees, but... Um... We may just see a raven out of this. This could just be a hard counter, yeah. Yeah, this is a raven. Okay. Yeah, so great, great, um, sort of metagaming here by my darling. Just, you're gonna throw cloaked banshees at me, I'm just gonna hard counter you and uh, try to take a little bit of an econ lead. She's got plenty of marines here. And I, as I, long as she doesn't forget combat shield this game, I think she's gonna be in a reasonably good spot. But, uh, Zombie Grab adding an expansion of her own behind this. And this, uh, Banshee will get Ness, or that's a Marine, but we'll get seen, so. Yep, I, I believe she scanned and actually saw the, the tech lab and the starport, which kind of changed things up a little bit. Uh, but this Banshee should technically do almost no damage. Yeah, I hope it, I hope it uh, is defended here, because Monica's whole build is uh, geared around defending this very thing at the moment, so. Um... Well, defending with a, this with a, a quick with a widow mine, a raven, and a whole bunch of marines and a missile turret. If this thing gets any kills, it's gonna be uh, a miracle. A miracle. A widow mine, a missile turret, and a banshee walk into a star station. We'll figure the punch out line out later. Meanwhile, oh, down Lord. here. <laughs> down, all right. So the move out from my darling is gonna happen. Uh, Zombie Grub's command center actually going to finish building at around the same time. I'd say this is this is pretty much dead dead heat as far as uh, who's getting mining first. I mean, obviously more FCBs here for my darling. Uh, Banshee gonna try to poke in from both sides here. Cloak going down as uh, my darling moves out. A little bit of unfortunate timing for her and missile turret is up, but this Banshee is gonna be able to do some work here. Ah, that one supply depot is so frustrating. But. Uh, gonna have to force the cloak out again, and that Viking could chase it down technically all day long. Uh, Ravens need a speed upgrade. Just saying. Uh, Mon uh, my darling going back to mech, which is kind of her old standby. Drops the auto turret. I don't know if that was really necessary. Yeah, I, I think she, she didn't quite know that the, the Viking was gonna be right there. So, uh, Monica... Just uh, getting it, getting a good setup here. I'd imagine that we'd see a third uh, CC going down 
not too distant future, but it's going to be mech, as you pointed out, as an Agi versus uh, bio tank. Looks like the composition. You know what? I I like this, uh, my darling. She's she tried bio. She's going back into what she's what she's good at, what she's known for, her her forte, as it were. Uh, but this little push out here from Zombie Grub is a little scary. Uh, yeah, for sure. Enough one for less a secret tank missile. for my darling here. Enough for and one. She won't spot this. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work out. <laughs> Banshee goes yeah, down that, immediately. Banshee. Viking actually could go down as well, and uh, that could be problematic. Oh, and a oh. sieged up tank gonna get first shot. Secret missile targeted for the tank. Oh, it does not pan out. It will fizzle, but you know what? That force oh, is. Oh my god! The tank. Two the tanks tank. killed in a medevac! And now all the momentum goes to my darling. Wow, I think I think my darling killed that whole army with almost no casualties there. Almost yeah, pretty much almost nothing. I mean one uh, one tank here. And now these Vikings can actually sit on top of this starport and start picking away at units. This is uh this is pretty good. This is a pretty good spot for my darling. She's going into her third command center, getting her blue flame. Uh, her tank count is starting to climb up there, as well as her Hellion count. Now, Stim about to be finished, along with plus one attack. So we may see Zombie Grub pushing back into this contained supply depot. Does fall from this tank for us. There is a widow mine back behind it. Another tank is joining in. So high ground provided by um, the Goodyear blimp of Vikings here, and uh, looks like. Zombie Grub is in a little bit of a rough spot. This uh, push isn't going to go any further than this because these tanks are sneaked up right where they need to be. But um, definitely clearing out this ramp pretty uh, pretty decisively. Yeah, and in fact now Zombie, uh, now my darling can actually start a very very hard contain. And uh, actually Zombie Grub not paying attention loses a couple of Marines, a lot of others grievously wounded, and she's going to move over and try and move up a little bit. And there's really not a lot that Zombie Grub can do against this. That command center not going to finish. It's under fire, and that SCV really needs to kind of just stay alive long enough to finish it. It will finish, and you can try and turn it into an orbital before lifting it. An interesting choice. Uh, not certain if that's going to be terribly effective. Tanks just getting lots of free damage here on that, and uh, meanwhile we see a drop queued up uh, that's going to head out, moving along the left side to try to do some damage and maybe force any of this back. If we look at Monica's base, she does have the missile turrets uh, there as well as the units that are constantly uh, streaming out missile. across the map. Yeah. Gotta love it. Boom! And now, actually, she can start sieging up the main base here. Tank goes down immediately. I don't know that there's too much zombie grub can do. The positioning is just so good on these tanks. She can't actually get anything down there. She's going to have to attack from the high ground and the low ground at the same time. A couple of Marines go down on the top of the main base there. And this command center is going to fall. And all these SCPs, it's like a shooting gallery. GG! My darling, taking game number two there. A um, lot of lot of mind games going. Just hard countering that cloak banshee build right away, and you know. Yeah, I mean that 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 one scan that kind of tipped off everything, kind of changed everything else. Because I'm almost certain. I'm I'm gonna stand by my statement. I think my darling was gonna go for that hellion at the front, drop of the back play. But once she scanned that, I feel like she changed it up. And you can change it up on the fly. That's a very flexible build. build. Um, into yeah, the Raven. I mean, I'm, I'm going to disagree and say that that was her plan. The the Raven was her plan all along with that. I, don't, I still don't know where you're pulling this this uh, Marine in the front. And uh... it, it's, it's, a sta it's a fairly standard TVT build. It's a, it's a little older. And it's fallen a little out of favor with the Banshees. But it's still pretty good. You, you open you open one racks one factory you get uh, two marines a reactor two marines two marines make the factory switch them up start making hellions two more marines while you build, build the starport and then drop those eight marines with the uh, with the hellions at the front 